Hi everyone, I'm Chris. And I'm Indira. And today on Retro Toys, we're talking about dolls. Indira, did you have any dolls? I had a few, <laughs> only a few, but I only had the basic ones, but I do have a couple porcelain of my own. So what was kind of different about the porcelain dolls from other dolls? You couldn't really play with them. You had to be more gentle with them. They're breakable? Yeah, they're Did breakable. You... So you had to be like all gentle with them. And they're all old. I don't think it's respectful. And but you don't really change their clothes. Like with Barbies, yeah. like you totally change their clothes and outfits yeah. like multiple times a day. But like I don't think I ever change the clothes on a porcelain doll. Yeah. I used to, when I was little, I didn't understand. I used to take a, the clothes off and then put them back on. Just do that over and over again. The same clothes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I had dolls that you could feed them, like like this like gooey paste. Did you have one of those? Oh, I had one of those, except like, I didn't have one of those. I lived with a friend for a little while when I was younger, and they had like, what you call it? They had one of those, a baby lie. Like a yes! Baby. Yes! Good job. Yeah, and she tried to, like, you know how it came with the, the fake feet and stuff? She would, like, she would give it regular food, and they gave it a french fry once, and it, it got all jammed. <laughs> it got really jammed. <laughs> That's how you they give you, like, these little packets, and you add water, yeah. so it's, like, slime, very light slime or something. Yeah, no, we gave it a full-on french fry. <laughs> It didn't go well. <laughs> I also had a doll that, like, I think you either pulled a string or pushed something or pushed a button or something, and it would do something. In particular, this one was a ballerina, so it, she would kind of like just twirl. Kind oh, of thing. Fly? Yeah. Fly? <gasps> so you would put your hand underneath it and it'd go up. Yes. Yes. There was that kind too. Yes. Yep. I didn't. I never had one of those. I just dreamt I had one, but I never got one. I know you had a doll like a while back and you give it like the milk bottle and then as you tilt the bottle, <laughs> I love those. Yeah, those are like my favorite of all time. Mm -hmm. Like just the bottle itself. Like yeah. how you would tip it and it go away. It just felt like magic as a little kid. You were like, <gasps> then you realize that it's a contraption. It's not actual milk. It was very sad and you really wanted to open it when you were little. But she couldn't because they're sealed shut and it's not really milk. It, it was very disappointing to find out as a kid, but now I understand it. But I still liked just tipping it and like seeing like the milk disappear. And... Yeah. It was like mesmerizing. You'd sit there for like an hour and then you, you'd like hold it up. I don't know if anybody else did this, but you'd hold it upside down and you put it underneath something like you're filling it up. Yes. Yep. Like I did, did that all the time. I'd be like, yep, yeah, gotta fill it up. Mm hmm. Would you like some more? Yeah, Absolutely. That's exactly how it went all the time. I had like high chairs and like accessories for some of my dolls. Did you have any accessories beyond the milk I, bottle? I had a, like a car seat. I had like a, a car seat that could turn into a high chair, into a car seat, into a bed. That I had is... like a one in three. So the dolls you see in front of me, those were actually not toys from my childhood. Um, they were from my younger sister's um, childhood time. And um, she was born in 83. And um, so we just put them in the attic. And um, why, I don't know, but um, so they actually have a copyright of 1983. Um, and, but on the front, you can see that there's 85, 84 and 85, I think is when we purchased them. And I remember these things being a huge deal. People would stand in line for hours. Like I was like standing in line with my grandmother at Ann and Hope for a good two hours waiting to get a Cabbage Patch doll. They limited you because it was so popular that each person could only get two dolls. So I got two dolls and then my grandmother got two dolls and we gave a couple to my sister and we kept a couple of them. Um, and I think the, um, the, the brother and sister here kind of thing, 84 and 85, we kept and we gave 
the this one um, with the long dark hair to my sister in 85. Um, and she never took it out of the box. I think honestly she had so many toys that year that um, we just kind of like put it aside and she didn't really play with it. I think she had another one that she did play with. Um, so these have been like just sitting in my attic for like until now pretty much <laughs> from like 1985 until now so um they're in pretty decent condition the box is a little wonky but these were collectible i mean they had an all different ages too at first they started out like with their like i don't know like age three or two or three then they had preemies and they had twins and they had ones with pacifiers and then they had ones that had like a little tooth in the front and they just it exploded it was this huge doll buying phenomenon of the 80s and um so if you're a child in the 80s you probably have heard of the cabbage patch or if you were a parent of a child in the 80s you've definitely heard of the cabbage patch kids and it says on the box the legend of the cabbage patch kids many years ago a young boy named xavier happened upon an enchanted cabbage patch where he found very special little people who call themselves Cabbage Patch Kids to help fulfill the Cabbage Patch Kids dream of having families to whom to share their love. Xavier set about building a special place known as Babyland General <laughs> where the kids remain until each is chosen for adoption. Won't you adopt a Cabbage Patch Kid and fill a little heart with love? So it would come with adoption papers and other accessories yeah. um, that you, you could get. Each one was like kind of like different type of thing. Yeah. So that was the, the big thing that I remember and, and still have today. Like I had a baby alive, but I don't still have my baby alive anymore. I have no, no idea what happened to that. Um, they all kind of just disappeared. I don't know. I don't know anybody <laughs> who had a baby alive that knows where their baby alive is. Mm -hmm. So that's dolls um, for today, and we'll see you next time on Retro Toys.